Well, good morning. The rain hat's on, that can only mean one thing. It's gonna be a wet Munro today. So we're in a rather damp Glen Lochy, which is a wee Glen tucked away off the side, just at the bottom of Cullin. Um, now the road we're on today actually has a little bit to do with the colors I wear and a little bit to do with the channel. Um, we're heading up a Munro today called Miel Yordi. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it's not a difficult hill by all accounts, but the navigation's gonna have to be on point today because the cloud level's looking like it's down to about 400, 500 meters, or maybe less. So we are gonna be in the cloud for most of the day. So we have the GPS and we have our map and compass today. So we're gonna do a little bit of navigation as we head up today. It's always good to get the map and compass out sometimes just to keep those skills in check because I'm very aware that I sometimes just rely on the digital GPS and that doesn't always work, obviously it's a battery driven thing. So yeah, it's sometimes nice just to get the map out, get the compass on the map and actually walk on a bearing for a change. So anyway, um, we won't get many views up here today I don't think, but uh, join us as we head up this 1000 meter Munro. Yeah, so the last time I spoke to you up on Ben Hope, I gave you an apology. Now, the little thing I was talking about in terms of uh, stopping wind noise when I'm trying to speak to the camera when I'm out filming on the hills, is this little thing. Just a little foam cover that goes over the speakers and should, in effect, stop any wind noise that's happening. Today we're not probably going to need it because the wind's to be down to about five miles an hour so it should be nice and calm on the top. Um, the only problem we're going to have today is rain on the lens. So anyway, we've got a few gates to go through across some what looks like farmland before we get up on the hill proper. So I'll join you again later on. Well, that's us about to go into the clouds now. We're at 250 meters, so we didn't get very high up without hitting the clouds. Now this mountain's over a thousand meters high, so we're gonna be spending a big chunk of the day in the cloud. Um, this is why I said about the navigation down the bottom there. Um, I'm gonna take a bearing, because the paths, it's not totally straight. I'm gonna take a bearing that'll give us a rough guide as to where we're heading as we go up this mountain. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be one of these claggy days, I think. Uh, so next thing we're looking for, small cairn on the ground and a pole sticking up on the left-hand side of the path. That is our cue to turn and start heading up the mountain. Okay, I'll bring you back when we get up there. So there we go, I don't know if you can see that through the clag, but that's the pole we've been looking for on a less cloudy day. You'll definitely be able to see that. And we're now going to be leading the stalker's path as we get to this little pile of stones here. And we're heading up the path back that way, up past that pole and up into the clag. Right, let's keep walking. Well, 
that's us, we're leaving the kind of fern lined path behind, which I'm glad about. I always seem to pick up ticks when I'm in the mountains. Um, so we're out onto the hillside proper now. The sun is trying to make a glimpse through. Are we going to be lucky again today? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, we're up onto the hillside proper now. Um, it's not a difficult climb, it's not steep. Uh, judging by the contours on the map, it's quite a gradual climb up here today, so... I'm going to take it nice and easy and steady. I'm on my own today, it's a solo trip for me. Um, aiming to hit 49 today before we start the Glen Lion loop on Sunday, which will be my 50th. So, yeah, um, I'll bring you out further up and let you see the fantastic views. Okay, right, let's keep moving. Well, that's us up over 600 metres. The clag's well and truly in. And I've put the wind stopper on. Now, it's not particularly windy. So I'm hoping you're going to be able to hear this. Uh, yeah, I had to take the jacket off. It's absolutely boiling for all it's wee bit drizzly. I uh, had to get rid of it. I'm absolutely sweating here. Um, yeah, 600 metres done. We've got 400 and something to do. So yeah, we'll keep ploughing on and I'll bring you back again a bit further up. Right, see you soon. So we're within 80 metres of the top now, um, well I'm stopping to catch my breath. Yeah, I just got chatting to a, a young man who's done well over uh, 100 Munros so far, who was from Aberdeen. And he was saying to me he got into climbing hills due to his dad. Now my dad was exactly the same. Uh, when we were young, he, I mean the, the highest ever hill he ever took us up was Ben Lomond. That was one of his favourites, and Ben Venu and Ben Ann, so, you know, the smaller Corbett's. Um, and it was brilliant just going out and spending time up in the mountains with my dad and my two younger brothers. Um, youth hostel and what a laugh we had with that. Um, but yeah, the young chap was saying that uh, the problem he's finding now is, obviously being up from Aberdeen, He's bagged all the ones round about him, so all the other ones he needs to do now are that much further away, and that's the issue I'm finding now, uh, is I've done the ones all close to home, so we're having to travel a fair distance. But it's the time that you invest in doing these Munros, and the journey. Uh, yeah, anyway, enough waffling. We've got 80 metres to go. Let's batter on and get to the top.
Well, that's us. We're down below the 400 meter mark. And would you believe, it's another one of these days where maybe I should have started later. I'm going to spin you around and let you have a look at the, I don't know what the mount's called. I'll find out for you and uh, I'll post it on the video. Yeah, we're starting to see the top of some of the summits around here. Oh well, you live and learn, eh? Anyway, um, I'm not going to sign off quite yet on the on the, this vlog. Um, yeah, I've got something to let you see. Um, after we get back to the car, I'm going to take you somewhere. Uh, and let you see something that holds dear memories in my heart, certainly. And probably those people who know me best. Anyway, I'll see you again when we get back down to the car. So, I was going to bring you and show you the campgrounds where we used to camp as scouts. Now, you'll notice around my neck, I've got my old scout neckerchief on. Now, that was from a scout group called the 54th, who were based in Stennis Muir near Falkirk. And their colours, as you can see, are black and red, so I've had a kind of affinity to black and red ever since. The Boy Scouts gave me my love of the outdoors, and it's continued on till today. Um, anyway, I'm going to sign off here, go create your own adventures and we'll see you on the next one which should be the Glen Lion Loop on Sunday. Right, thanks for joining us.